Okay, today is May 12, 2017. As you can see here, I kind of preconditioned this frame. Uh, this is going to be the frame that I attach the queen cells to and stick into the finisher hive. And this is, this is the queen that I will be grafting or grafting from. Um, she's a local, incredibly hygienic strain of bee, and um, I don't know if it's fair to say grafting, but she's going to go in the Nikot uh, cassette. Put her down for a second. Let me take a look at this. This is the the frame um, you know and I move I removed the covers from both sides to condition everything I even conditioned the uh, the actual um, queen queen cell or egg cell inserts so um, it's had a lot of time inside of the colony So what happens now is I will release our queen in here, and then this queen excluder will go on top, allowing the worker bees to traverse back and forth while the queen lays in, inside of these cells. Okay, lays inside of these cells. So let me go ahead and do that. There she is. Okay. I'll come back in 24 hours and take a look and see what we've got. She should have laid in there. And then I'll pull the the cells in the back part of the frame here and um, put them into a colony to raise the uh, queen. I'm just going to go ahead and put her back into her uh, native hive, which is this one. Okay. I like to write on my frames. You see that one? Since, you know, they all look the same from above, always make sure to indicate which frame has the queen on. I put her in the center uh, so that she gets the most warmth from the outside and the bees uh, will know her location in the middle of the brood nest. And, uh, alright, that is that. May 15th, 2017, and I will be putting together the cell builder in a five frame nucleus colony to begin shaking out lots of bees. Um, the bees that remain in this colony will be the nurse bees, and the bees that leave, of course, will be the foragers. They'll head back to their colony. Um, the NICOT system will be removed and eggs will be placed inside of this. Um, the nurse bees will draw out each one of these um, into queen cells. Uh, after which <clears throat> I will put these virgin queens um, soon to hatch inside of roller cages and uh, place them in colonies to be uh, to be mated and that's a process. Let's shake some bees. One more thing. Um, before I start shaking bees, this is my mixture um, that they will be feeding off of. This is 100% real pollen. Uh, this is uh, sugar. Um, 
and this is royal jelly that's been lipolized. I'm gonna dilute this in a one-to-one. -one. Um, I'm also gonna make some patties and smear them on the inside of the nucleus colony. That's what it looks like. Okay, this is the first colony I'm gonna shake some bees out from. I've located the queen, uh, but I've also located a really nice queen cell. It's fully capped and it's a good thing because I just went ahead and pulled that frame and we're gonna make an entire colony out of it. I don't know if you can see her, she's marked in green. Uh, this is a queen that she was made and just started laying about a month ago and she's laid everything up in here but um, I think it's just a matter of needing more room. So as you can see, there's a lot of nurse bees here. Uh, I am going to cage her just so I can work through here and shake bees out and take this frame. Yeah, so I don't lose her. There we go. Yeah, since this has good amount of brood in it. I'm putting it open brood. It's going right in here. And we're gonna shake. Shake and shake. Okay. We're going to shake out a lot more from uh, other colonies, but what you'll find is the ones that are not nurse, nurse bees will fly back home. The nurse bees um, will stick around with the brood because uh, that's all they know. These guys kind of crawl back in here. So I put the queen back. And I went ahead and gave them some more room in there. Cool. Looking for the queen, making sure that I don't miss her and put her in there. So remember the idea is to make this queenless. This is, and this is from a completely different colony. There we go. Okay, I went ahead and took out the Nycot and uh, released the queen that I grafted from. Um, you basically take these little plastic uh, um, devices that come with them and you push in here and then you pick up the larvae. I noticed that a few of the cells were, so we're on a flow right now, so the, uh, the worker bees started uh, backfilling it with honey, nectar. So she's run out of space and she uh, double and triple laid in, in a couple of them. 
uh, I'll put one up here anyways just to see what the bees will do with it. Uh, it'll probably be a miss, but uh, this is it, and there they are. Um, so basically, you can put this in here, close it up, and put their feed in there, and let them go to work. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh wow, a lot of nurse bees just hanging out. 